which is cool. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to gather. I want you to capture the best moments in your life. I want you to remember when you got a call and you guys got a scholarship to college. How excited were you? Smiling, right? Man, it's the greatest thing in the world. I want you to remember the best times that you've ever had because you gave that bit. Because you aced a test that you never thought you were going to ace. Because you performed better than anybody. Whatever that was, man. I'm you see the Olympics and you see all this guy screaming, ah, it's the greatest time in the world. Kissing their medals, they're exhilarated. That's what I want you to do. I want you to go back there, capture those moments, and put them in your bottle. Okay? Then what I want you to do, I want you to capture those moments that you experienced a tremendous self-doubt, that you were unhappy, that you came up short because you didn't give full effort, because you disappointed people, because you disappointed yourself. I want you to put that in the bottle. That's your what. Then, the next time you get tired, the next time you get self doubt the next time you feel like giving up and quitting, I want you to open up this bottle and take a little swig. And I want you to say, what feelings do I want to relive? Do I want to relive those great moments and not give up and get to my goal? Or do I want to be disappointed and depressed? What, what do you really want to do? So when I feel like giving up, when I don't feel like doing something, I tell myself, okay. If I don't do it, I'm going to feel like a piece of garbage. And if I do do it, I know it's necessary, and I want to feel that good again. I want to achieve again. If you can do this and capture, go home, write a list of all your best times that you've had. And say, I want to relive those times again. I want to capture those times again. I want to succeed again. So I'm going to push through. I'm not going to have self-doubt. I'm going to push, take self-doubt and push it to the sidelines because I want to feel those feelings again. I don't want to feel down and depressed and everything else. And I know I will if I give up, if I experience self-doubt. If I let self-doubt stop me, I'm going to feel like crap. That's your why. This is what these warriors do. They understand their emotions. They use it as an asset. They don't use it to break themselves down. They use it to propel themselves forward. You think they're any more special than you, these super successful people? They're not. And they'll be the first ones to tell you. If they can do it, you can do it. I've sat down with these guys. I've had dinner with these guys. I know who these guys are. They're not any smarter. They're just not. They have a lot of experiences. They've taken a lot of chances. They've gotten out of the comfort zone. They learn to take self-doubt and say, OK, I have self-doubt but I'm going to push it to the side. Because I know self-doubt is going to put a wall in front of me. 